everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am testing out and showing you this new magnetic lashes craze that's going on. I spotted some magnetic lashes a while ago and I thought, are they good? Are they not? Are they just a bit of a weird fad and it's, you know, not gonna work? Then I saw that Ardell came out with some and I've actually got them on at the minute. I love the Ardell lashes and the fact that they came out with these magnetic ones. I saw Kathleen Lights did a video on them, these exact ones actually, and I thought, well, if people are jumping on the bandwagon, then I am going to as well and have a go. This is not a first impression. When they came in the post, I whacked them on instantly just to see like, what they're like because I couldn't wait and I've put them on today. I'm going to show you how I do them. It's actually trickier than I thought. It is a bit fiddly to start with but I can imagine once you get the hang of it it's just going to be like boom boom on done. I really love the fact that these ones are the accent lashes and I saw in Kathleen's video she said that the full strip lashes she tried and she found it really difficult. I can imagine that to be true because the accent ones, they work really nicely because they literally are just on the end and if you did have them all across, it's going to be really difficult to get them looking as natural as possible. I've used tweezers, but I would probably say use them kind of at your own risk because they are magnetic. Obviously the magnets are going to stick to the tweezers, which I didn't really I didn't even think about, it didn't even cross my mind and they started sticking to them and I was like, I use them to put them into position initially, but then actually hold them with my fingers to put the bottom ones down. So how they work is you've got a top lash and a bottom lash. So the top lash basically goes on first. What you're going to do is you're going to line it up how you want it, the right position, get as close to your lash line as possible. And then once you've got it in the position that you're happy with, kind of make sure that you get the end of the lash at the end of your actual lashes where they actually finish. No, it sounds silly, but kind of line them up as you would your normal lashes. It says upper and under on the actual packet. Once you've got the upper in place, you then just take the under and line it up and it will just attach itself very nicely and then they should be in place. It may look a bit funny in the join where you've got the uh, false lashes compared to your normal lashes. I kind of just get the tweezers and shimmy them around a little bit and prod bits here and there and move the hairs around so that they sit a little bit more natural. So your lashes don't look really full on one side and then really thin as you get into your inner corners that kind of thing just so that they look as nice and natural as possible and these are accent lashes so they're meant to be like an extension of what you've already got these are the 001s double zero ones but i was gonna get the 002s because i like more of a lash but i thought actually the 002s I will be just too different in the fact that they're so thick on one side. So I went these ones and I'm actually very happy with them. I think that they are really nice just if you want a little bit extra. So if you're going out for a casual drink and you don't want to put full lashes on, you've not got the time, you can just clip these on. Or if you're going out just for a meal with friends or something that's nice but it doesn't require a full pair of lashes, if you know what I mean. That kind of event. And they are really nice and simple. I think I'm going to really get on board with them. What I would say though is what Kathleen said in her her video as well. I put mascara on first but make sure that you really focus it on the inner corner because that is the bit where it's going to look more sparse if you haven't got as much product there you're really going to notice it so just make sure you're packing your mascara and really focusing it on that bit in the inner corner as opposed to on the outer corner because they're already going to have the lashes to help support that. I know they're very subtle, they probably won't make a huge amount of difference when I wear particularly dark makeup. I just think they add that little extra something when you want just a little subtle bit of glam. I mean that was like the third time I've done it and it's getting easier the more I do it. I definitely am impressed. I'm really happy that I purchased them. I was a little bit skeptical at first when I saw them but do you know what? You haven't got any of the glue, you haven't got any of the damage. When you do have the glue on you're pulling it and you're yanking it off to try and get the lashes off and it's not particularly good for your eyes. If you have an allergic reaction to lash glue this is perfect for you. I'm a poet and I know it. I use lashes until they're dying day I really do get the most out of them but you can reuse these even more than your regular lashes because you haven't got the glue and if you take care of them I mean they can last a very very long time I'm really impressed 
and they seem to be okay they seem to be staying if you don't fiddle with your eyes then they should be fine on stage and stuff anyway i would wear bigger lashes but i don't know if i would trust them for stage or for a night out not sure yet i'll have to see they feel very lightweight they don't feel like they're going to go anywhere unless I bump into someone, you know, if you're out, you might bump into someone or something. I'm the clumsiest person ever and I tend to bump into anything. And I'm really excited by them. Let me know if you've tried them. Let me know what you think. And I know it is terribly, terribly subtle, but sometimes all you need is that little something subtle to complete the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know of any other products that I might have not seen that you'd like me to try out. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you liked it and would like to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you in my next one. Bye!